else to go. Ah, the whistling noise begins again. So hello everyone. My voice might be a little muffled because I'm actually wearing a uh, bandana over my face. I haven't bought a uh, balaclava, or whatever you call it, for riding yet. And I decided that I was going to try out and wear a uh, bandana instead. Over my uh, neck and my face and part of my nose to try to keep some of the uh, cold air off of my face. And let me tell you, this this is a pretty uh, cheap solution if you don't have a balaclava. I, I know they're, um, they are really inexpensive anyways, but I just haven't gone out to get one, and I don't have one yet. So, I looked at my uh, dresser drawer and I found a bandana. So, it's pretty exciting. I was like, hey, I might as well try to put this on and see how it works out. And uh, it's doing a great job of keeping a lot of the wind off of my my face and my neck. Granted, it's it's kind of warm today. It's not. I mean, it's not warm, but it's not freezing cold. It's about 58 degrees, I think. 58, yeah. And uh, it's a sunny day. It's like the first time the sun has come out in like. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> it feels like it's been a week since the sun came out. But I had to take advantage of this beautiful day and go out riding. It's actually supposed to get um. It's supposed to get warmer tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow is supposed to reach, I think, 70 degrees. And then it's supposed to be a consistent, like, 70 high up until Thursday. And then once Thursday hits, it's supposed to go up to, like, 79 degrees, which is ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't think this day would come. I mean, it's only been, like, a couple weeks of cold weather, but, you know. I just watched the Rebel, uh, Rebel Yells video, and he had... <laughs> what, he's, like, 95 degrees? Is that what he said? I, I think? I don't know. But it looks like I'll be getting some of his warmer weather around Thursday. It'll be 80, so it'll be pretty cool. But uh, I'm wearing my riding pants right now, uh, the ones I've said they're too big. I'm just going to go ahead and deal with it because it feels like a more relaxed fit because it's too big. I'm going to turn here. But I've got a uh, thin jacket underneath my jacket I have right now, like a windbreaker. Then I have my riding jacket that I'm wearing. It's it's like a thin jacket with no armor. And then I have my jeans and I have my overpants. And I'm not wearing any riding boots. I'm wearing my gloves and I have liners underneath my gloves. They don't work that well, but they help. Um, and then I have my helmet with my bandana over my face. And it's a pretty good solution, I must say. If you don't have a balaclava and you have a... Uh, what's up, cows? <laughs> um, if you don't have a balaclava and you have a man... Ooh, roadkill. Um, try it out. It's pretty cool. It helps a little bit, but I bet you when it gets colder, it's not going to do much of a help. So... But uh, I tried to vlog the other day, actually, when it was like 45 degrees outside. But, um, but my visor kept fogging up because it was actually raining when I was trying to vlog both times. Uh, that's what's great about these pants, actually, is that they're waterproof, which is really freaking sweet. Because I can ride in the rain, and then when I stop, all the water is wicked off of my uh, overpants. I don't know if you can see them or not. But, um, so I'm, I'm getting used to these pants, and I really like them. Um, I kind of wish my helmet had a, what is it called, a breath guard, because, like I said, I was trying to vlog the other day, but I couldn't, because my whole visor kept fogging up, and then whenever I tried to open the visor to let it vent a little bit, it didn't vent, because it was raining outside, it was just a really humid, I mean, it wasn't humid, it was just a, the day was very moist, and it wasn't doing much help, so... I may be getting, I told you guys this 
billion times before. I'm looking at the uh, Scorpion helmet, the EXO, I think 400 or is it 700? I don't know. But it, it has a uh, breath guard on it and it also has a chin skirt. So that's a double bonus. I'll, I won't have much turbulence of wind around my face area and I'll have a breath guard to keep my keep the uh, visor from fogging up as much. So that's exciting. Um, if you guys have the uh, EXO 400 or 700 helmet, uh, let me know if how you guys like it. I one thing I'm really concerned about is the helmet liner, like inside the helmet. Um, is it um, is it like a uh, uh, is it like my helmet where it's kind of like netted all the way around? It's kind of like an even contour or whatever. I'll I'll insert a picture here. Or is it really funky uh, padding design where it would give you an extremely uh, bad helmet hair? Because I get helmet hair pretty easily since I have um, longer hair.